Welcome to A Line Through Time, where I take the time to look through your favourite franchises and work out how it all lines up. There's been a bit of an interesting development in the world of shared continuities I've already covered. Well, two, but that's for another time. For now, we'll be discussing developments in the Dead or Alive and Ninja Gaiden timeline, so I'll be sure you've seen that episode first. Now, we're not talking about Dead or Alive Extreme Venus Vacation, the upcoming PC port of DOA X3 that's adding an all-new character without bringing back any of the actual DOA girls who didn't make the cut the first time because Japan has the worst fucking taste in the world. No, we're talking about Neo. Neo is Team Ninja's answer to Dark Souls, loosely inspired by the life of William Adams, the first Western Samurai. The game released back in February, but the story didn't end there. It received three DLC story packs that see William return to Japan after witnessing a vision of the Siege of Osaka. The third pack, Bloodshed's End, picks up after William defeated Sanada Yukimura in the previous DLC. William pursues Toyotomi Hideyori and his mother Chacha, and optionally comes face to face with this guy. Hey, many of you think, that guy looks an awful lot like Ryu Hayabusa from the classic Ninja Guidance. Why, yes he does. He even fights like modern Ryu, so what's the deal? Well, there are four ways this could have been handled that would have indicated different degrees of significance for our timeline. 1. This is just a ninja who Team Ninja decided to imbue with the skills of Ryu to make for a fun fight that pays homage to their other series. For the canon, this would mean nothing. 2. The character is acknowledged as a Hayabusa ninja. A little more on the nose, but it still doesn't mean anything. 3. This is Ryu himself after a time travel event. Typically, this kind of thing would be non-canon and would exist solely to make for a fun fight that is more satisfying than Yaiba. 4. This character is an all-new Hayabusa clan member with his own unique name, and he is, Jin Hayabusa. The fact that they went to the effort of making a new character, underdeveloped though he may be, suggests to me that this is intended as a canonical addition rather than just a bit of fan service that they included for the hell of it. But that's not enough to prove a shared continuity, surely. So let's briefly consider whether or not Neo could fit into the world of DOA and NG in the first place. Well, demons, under various names, do exist in both settings and did exist at least as far back as the Sengoku era in Ninja Gaiden's history. We know this because the backstory of the Hayabusa clan's Castle of the Dragon from Modern Gaiden 2 states that Oda Nobunaga himself commissioned the castle's construction to aid the Hayabusa in their mission sometime between his battle with the ninja of Iga in 1581 and his death the following year. We know the clan head at the time was named Shuden and Jin could very well be his son or grandson from around 1615. Secondly, also consider that this game was developed by Team Ninja, who also developed both Ninja Gaiden and Dead or Alive. Well, they developed DOA costume packs with seven £100 season passes, but I digress. This isn't like when Samurai Warriors E. Naotoro was added to DOA 5 as a guest fighter. Sure, both properties are owned by Koei Tecmo overall, but that was an Omega Force character being added to a Team Ninja game, likely by executive decision. A character representing a Team Ninja game showing up in another Team Team Ninja game suggests to me that this was a decision made by Team Ninja themselves, the group that makes the creative story decisions for these three IPs. To me, this is just an open and shut case. But let's go for one more piece in case you're not convinced, yeah? In Warriors All Stars, William appears alongside Ryu, Ayane, Kasumi, and some others who don't deserve to be here. Characters are divided by franchise and distributed amongst three factions. William and the Ninja Gaiden characters join Shiki's faction, while the DOA characters join the Setsuna faction. However, each series with multiple characters will have one one character elected as a free agent that can be recruited by any faction the player fights for, but they will be immediately available if their series is selected to start the campaign. Honkers fills this role for DOA, while Ninja Gaiden stands out as the only series with multiple representatives to not have a free agent. However, if you start with William or Ryu, the two will join up with Ayane immediately and join Shiki as a trio. William appears as a free agent, but is also a starter when choosing the Ninja Gaiden cast. The game, on some level, considers William to be the third Ninja Gaiden character. Now, some of you more familiar with All Stars may say, but characters from one world are all from the same point in time, right? Actually, there is some evidence to dispute that. Zhou Tsang of Dynasty Warriors refers to Red Her as belonging to Guan Yu. Guan Yu received the horse following the death of its previous owner, Lu Bu, who also appears in the game. He seems to be under the impression that the horse still belongs to him. Additionally, when starting the campaign with Zhao Yun, Zhou Tsang awakens in a mysterious place, takes one look at Lu Bu and says, <laughs> His conclusion, obviously, is that he and Zhao Yun have died and gone to where Lu Bu resides in the afterlife. Lu Bu, meanwhile, never alludes to being brought back from the dead. This sets a precedent for the summoning of heroes from different points in One World's timeline being a possibility. Therefore, it is entirely possible for characters from the 21st century of the DOA NG world to be summoned alongside a warrior from the 17th. And while this evidence does come from an Omega Force game rather than a Team Ninja one, it does serve as a lovely bit of icing on the cake, no? 
Honestly, all of this evidence really does look, to me, to be irrefutable proof that Neo is officially being placed as a 17th century prequel to Dead or Alive and Ninja Gaiden. If this is indeed the case, then it was the Neo version of Nobunaga that commissioned the Hayabusa castle and that just makes him even more of a badass. Guy wages war with a group of ninja, immediately puts aside his animosity to pay for a castle for another group of ninja, takes on a black slave as a samurai, dies before he can achieve his goals, gets resurrected by Edward Kelly but turns out to be immune to Kelly's control, fights William just for fun, then tells Kelly to piss off and returns to the heavens because he has no regrets. What a fucking baller. There was a man much like you in my world. I wasn't able to meet him while he lived. まあ、そうじゃな。いつかその他もわしの世界に来るといい。侍として引き立ててやるにゃ。ただし、その名では通用せぬ。そうじゃな。ウィリニアムとでも改めよ。Thanks for the new name. It's a little soft for me, but you never